Joe Hollinsworth here, powertrain company, or they like to tease and call me Engine Joe. Uh, right now I want to talk to you about a thing called a cam phaser. Now, if you're shopping for 5.4 three-valve engines at all, you're going to hear this term, cam phaser. <clears throat> New cam phasers, bad cam phasers, locked out cam phasers, old cam phasers, um, no cam phasers, I suppose. You might even hear that, but the thing is you need to understand why that term is important to you, okay? Um, this is a cam phaser. This is what it looks like. Um, it's pretty cool. It's got a big spring inside here. It's got sprocket and it's got a centrifugal throw out. And it's got a oil passage in the back that fills with oil and controls it. Pretty neat little piece of equipment. Um, actually what it does, it goes on the end of the camshaft out here and controls the speed of the camshaft. Sounds pretty simple. It's part of a very important design and it's important for you to know that the cam phaser does have a specific and a very important purpose. It controls what Ford calls VCT, variable camshaft timing. That's Ford's terminology for variable valve train timing. Variable valve timing, air management, there's a lot of names for it. Ford calls there's VCT. The cam phaser controls the VCT. What that does is it changes your valve timing while you're driving down the road. And for us, that means we get better performance through all of our driving ranges. Now, if you want an engineering description of this thing, if you want somebody to explain exactly how it works and all the internal whizmos and gizmos, there's some other videos out there you can go to that will give you a lot of that information. The important thing for us, though, as a consumer is to understand that it is an important piece of equipment that was put on that engine for a purpose. And when you hear the term locked out cam phaser, my advice is don't go there. Ford put these on the engine for a purpose. They didn't design this engine to have cam phasers just so they could spend extra money on building their engine. It's an important part of your 543 valve. Okay? Be sure you're not dealing with it. You're going to hear it sooner or later. Somebody's going to give you a price on one that's a little bit cheaper. You're going to go, wow, that sounds like a good price. What's the difference? Well, it has locked out cam phasers, but it works all the time. It's great. Everybody does it. Well, no, everybody doesn't do it. No, it doesn't work great all the time. It works okay about one out of ten times. So stay away from the locked out cam phasers. There were some issues in the beginning. The first design had a bad spring. The springs broke. That's all gone. Ford fixed that years and years ago. Don't fall into that bad spring in the cam phaser uh, talk. That's, that's old history. That's been repaired a long time ago. The biggest issue with them was this engine had the same volume oil pump as a 1996 F-150 with a 4.6 Romeo engine in it. Okay? With the addition of the cam phasers being controlled by oil and several other things, the engine needs more oil volume, not pressure needs more volume. So that's one of the things our remanufacturers fix. They're putting a melling high volume oil pump in these engines just so that this cam phaser will have enough oil to run and operate the way it's supposed to. So remember this, they are important. If you're going to buy a 543 valve, buy a quality 543 valve with the proper parts in it, the OE parts. Powertrain Company buys all of our 5.4s from an OEA. That's an original equipment assembler. These people are the same ones that built this engine for Ford when Ford builds this engine. So be sure you're getting a quality engine. Be sure you're getting the cam phasers that you want, not locked out, not some kind of used stuff. Um, you want the good Ford cam phasers in your engine. Your engine will run better, it'll last longer, and you'll have a more quality experience with that engine that you buy. This is Joe from Powertrain Company. Thanks a lot.